either bands and shorts because I think they're toxic to my YouTube channel. Watch this video to find out why I think that and how a lot of other people agree. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Parrot Teacher. I am David and today I'm doing a very unusual video. It's not really in my genre, but it's something I felt I had to my, add my voice to as a small to medium channel. There are loads of other creators, huge ones, small ones, medium ones, all coming out and saying the same. So I just wanted to add my two cents to it because a lot of us are getting kind of fed up with it and we want other people to avoid the same pitfalls that we have fallen into. Now I'm going to be talking about shorts and YouTube shorts are quite a controversial topic right now. A lot of people still love them. Some people are having great success with them in a very certain way. A lot of people are getting hurt by it and this is the sort of area I want to focus on in this video. I'm not trying to really rag on shorts as a concept, it's a thing, but for long form creators, for most creators on YouTube, it is a toxic thing and it's no good. Let me just start by saying when shorts first came out, I was really excited by the idea. I fell into the hype about it. I thought it was an awesome way of getting more engagement, putting out quick content, putting out short educational content and generally reaching a, a wider audience where I could connect with people, lead them onto my long form and just sort of add another dimension to my channel. And a lot of other people thought the same way, you know, especially when we heard they were getting monetized. It was what, great, awesome, you know, even more income, everything good to help the channel sort of grow and flourish. However, that's not really how it's turned out. And again, like I said just a moment ago, a lot of people are finding exactly the same problem. When Shorts first came out, I was part of a creative community and I was sort of learning and I was scribbling loads of notes about how I could make them successful. I followed all the advice, I did all the usual stuff and I had some initial success before they got monetized, I must know, because that's when there was a massive change that impacted lots of people. And you know, I'd get burst views, a lot of my shorts would get, you know, uh, 500,000 more, and there was lots of engagement and it was quite fun. And because it wasn't monetized, it didn't really hurt things, and my long form was ticking away and things were working. And then I think this is the major tipping point when they got monetized, all of the things that were being preached at by YouTube suddenly became invalid, everything changed. You know, um, things started to go a bit wrong. All you would get from your shorts mostly was burst views. You'd have to jump on trends. If you didn't just do, if you just did something that's cute and funny that would succeed on other platforms like Instagram or TikTok, it wouldn't do well on shorts. And that's the other really horrible thing about them. What does well elsewhere really does not do well on shorts. It's just so. Um, I don't know, like keyhole, only a very certain amount of things do well. The algorithm doesn't pick anything else up. You get like a thousand views and then it's gone, which leads on to my first kind of criticism point. When you've got them and you're used to having shorts on your channel because you've adopted them early, you're following through of them, you're expecting the same stuff, your channel statistics become skewed and your view of how you produce content becomes skewed. So you're used to those burst views, your figures look quite good. You're like, wow, you know, I'm getting extra views, and even if it's only in burst, you know, your figures look quite good. But over time, that's just diminishing. And you notice a lot that your long form content just isn't getting the engagement or push it used to. Your shorts are taken over. And even then, your shorts are taken over in such a toxic way because they're only burst viewing. They're not, they don't have any sort of um, long term growth potential. And if you're only getting, say, 20 views a day from your short, monetarily that's worthless, views wise that's worthless, no one's going to subscribe to that, so what is the point? And a lot of people are falling into this trap and it's really hard to abandon them once you get into that because it suddenly makes your channel look like it's doing really really rubbish. But I made that hard decision after watching a friend of mine's video, Pioneer's Tales, who is another sort of short, small to medium creator, watching other huge creators videos on this, I thought it's about time I just bit the bullet you know, just got rid of them because they're not doing me any favours. Because of these skewed figures, because of the way YouTube promotes shorts and pushes shorts, especially if you have them on your channel, your long form stuff gets pushed right out of the window. And since I've abandoned them, my long form views are still down, but they're kind of similar. My subscriber count is still similar, so shorts won't give me any subscribers. My view time is similar. Uh, sorry, my, view, my um, watch time is similar, but my views are massively down. And that makes me feel sad. You know, I look and I'm like, oh my goodness, nothing's getting reviewed. But it just shows how little benefit they're actually having my channel, honestly. I weren't getting many subscribers from them. My watch time wasn't really going up. I wasn't getting the massive engagement that you need to actually get something out of them. And now my views are down. And um, my long form isn't getting promoted because if you have shorts on your channel, YouTube will favor them now because that's their big push. That's what they want people to see. That's what they're trying to promote. The long form is just something they take or leave. You know, the big creators will get theirs pushed, but the rest of us, well, they care, especially in a niche environment. 
I think their view, and this is just a conjecture from my part, by the way, this is not anything direct from YouTube. I think their view is, you're gonna stay and create long form anyway, and if you don't, oh well, there's another hundred to fill your shoes. It doesn't matter how good your content is, how beneficial it is, it doesn't matter to them. It's just, you know, whatever. And I've kind of seen this in my statistics. Now, most of my views for long form come from people searching for it or people searching for it on Google. It used to be, before Shorts took over, most of my views would come from browse features or and YouTube search as well, obviously, and people actually being promoted my content. It doesn't get promoted anymore. They're not interested in promoting it anymore because there's no benefit. And I find it kind of a circular argument because why would you not want to promote content that people are searching for and Google searching for? That was the whole thing they used to say to you. Be consistent, make it you know, SEO optimized, make really catchy thumbnails. If people are searching for it and clicking on it, engaging with it and subscribing, both on Google and YouTube, why is the content not getting promoted? The simple answer is short and because the algorithm is not favoring it right now. And it's very frustrating as a creator to see your figures like this, but you're not alone if you're watching this video. We're all in the same boat, even much bigger creators than me in my niche in bird uh, power education and funny videos and stuff aren't doing so well. And I don't know when it's going to end. You can either ride it out or a lot of people are just giving up temporarily just being like, well, I'll go and produce content elsewhere. The other thing you can do if you do believe in shorts and you just, or you just want to do it for a bit of fun is make a separate shorts channel. That way your long form content isn't harmed and you can still bung up a cute video. And if it does go viral or does well, awesome, you've got that benefit but it's not hurting anything. And that's what I've done just for a bit of fun. And I think that's what you should do if you're considering it. Because if you leave shorts on your channel, you keep promoting them without them going really sky high, you're just gonna get crapped on basically, if I put it very bluntly. Something else I thought was really important to mention was an analytical stat I got from my alternate channel, which was called Spoodopods. And that said, it was like this experimental feature and it said, um, that my video is doing badly. And I was like, okay, fine. So I had this, this experimental feature that said, your video is doing really good because it's reaching a wider audience and lots of people are engaging with your content, awesome. Then later on, and now my channel's done really badly since I added shorts, by the way, so I've deleted them again now. Um, it then said, after I added the shorts, it said, your video is doing poorly because it's being shown to people who are less interested in your content. Now, I understand that in a wider context, as in like YouTube will show it to a sample and then it will go out to further sample, etc, etc, until eventually it gets pushed to people who are interested. But why would you show my video to people who are interested, you know? If people are looking for spider content, you're not going to show it to someone who's looking for makeup art, you know? It makes no sense. And it kind of contradicts what they say in the, both the shorts literature and how people discover your content, which is why other people noticed and this feature got pulled so quickly. So it's just something else to keep in mind about shorts. Now I do recommend you watch loads of other videos on this topic because you may be watching this and thinking oh he's just whinging because he's just not doing so well. It's a trend, um, it's a thing that a lot of people are finding, a lot of people are abandoning because they are toxic for long form content, especially for older channels you know. Do a separate short channel if you want to jump on that or better yet go to competitors places for example like TikTok and Instagram because they're doing it better. Honestly you get more engagement, more satisfaction, more promotion and generally you feel better about yourself than getting the, the thousand views from your short on YouTube and then it disappearing, which is about 95% of people's experiences, sadly. I really wish I was in that 5%, but I'm not. Not I, Clearly I've not cracked that um, formula, I'm not jumping on the trends, but you know, what can you do? So anyway, uh, a bit of a ranty, uh, whingy video, sorry, but I hope you found it useful and maybe, you know, made you think a little bit about it. Do search, YouTube search it, Google it, because there are plenty of others out there who you can verify it from. But in the meantime, from me, any comments down below, hopefully non-toxic, because I don't want to hear any sort of rage about this, because it's, it's a thing, uh, leave them down below. But in the meantime, take care and see you later.